Mr. Firebird would come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. Holy Gaston! This shouldn't be happening! Pep! No! This is not good at all, Putt Putt! My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. You be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality. These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Whoa! 
This must be the age of the dinosaurs. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle! Whoa, it's a big one! So, exactly what year is this anyway? Year? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is we're sometime in the age of the dinosaurs. Wow! I'm driving around millions of years before my time. Thanks a lot, Ms. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy! Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. Oh, how in the heck? Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm real glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how would you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. It's a pentagon-shaped rock. Full speed ahead! That was fantastic! Stupendous! You cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. Will, guess what? I found a rock and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion, Putt! Well, I'm homeward bound! Come visit any old time you like! I can't quite reach. Oh, I. Oh. Look at that! It's an apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt Putt, and maybe I can help you. 
What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot. Please. Oh, now go a bit to the left. Ah, oh, a little more to the left. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it? Oh, now I can relax. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. My back feels great. Oh, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! future like you, doing your past like this. I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, Putt. I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup? Made it myself. Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Hey, this is really an interesting bowl. Basically made that myself too. Why don't you keep it? I have another bowl. Gee, thanks, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it. notices me at all. He's much too busy eating. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes in nothing flat. It's my history report. I think I better get that Triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a Triceratops and his dinner.
by the way, let me introduce myself. My name's Compy, short for Compignathus. As you may have guessed, that's my buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt Putt. Hi, Mr. Bird. Wanna play a game? All right, watch this now real closely. Ready, set, all right, now it's your turn to fire up those volcanoes. Now it's your turn. They got you that time. If you want to call it quits, now's the time to click on the arrow. We'll give this level one more try. Okay, now you go. Now see if you can match that. All right, go for it. Good going, you get the picture. If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. Oh, help! It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't! I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <sighs> Let's move that one. <laughs> 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 there. All right, we did it. <laughs> you probably wouldn't expect a big guy like me to act like such a baby. <laughs> a very big baby. How big are you anyway? Last time I measured, uh, 18 feet tall and 14,000 pounds. My mom says I'm almost full grown.
नहीं So, uh, which one's first? I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. More primordial soup? Yes, please. It tastes great. Good. That's the stone bull Will gave to me. It's really ancient. My buddy here is the original master of fast food. Give him some food, he'll eat it fast. Primordial soup. Hi, Mr. Bird. Wanna play Follow the Volcano? Medieval times. I don't I don't need another rock. Will's bridge is fixed. Oh dear. Excuse me, do you need some help? My, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes, good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with a blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye! <laughs>
Wow, this is some castle. Yes, it is. Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. <laughs> A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Ha ha ha! Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. Look at that huge pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy, you never know. A rope! This might come in handy. I'd like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, great, I've got one of those. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. Good. 
Well, shoot him up. Sorry, Rough Rider. I'm gonna need some water to run my engines before you can hitch a ride. Okay, Toby. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Hello? Hello? Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Gold River, here we come. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, what, what's that to say? Have I sold much silver? I'm looking for gold, boy. Gold! I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can pick them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. Huh? Oh, That's the stone bowl. Yeah. Nah. Hot and dry. It's the desert. It's a prairie dog. Prairie dogs are herbivores. That means that they only eat plants. A prairie dog will sometimes sit on top of a mound to keep on the lookout for danger. That's the hay I found. It's an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny looking guy, aren't you, boy?
Wowie zowie! A real mountain lion! Hmm. Baby mountain lions are born with spots, and when they get older, the spots disappear. Look! A mountain lion! All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. It's my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. <gasps> should I use? This key doesn't fit. Maybe I should try a different key. Ugh! Oh no! That trunk is locked up tight. Which key should I use? to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. We're off and chugging to the old rock mine. And here he is, the most quick jump in the world, the Desert Kid! <laughs> yeah. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Open that rusted gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Hello, 
I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Word, good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. That's the stone bull. What the hay? Tell me a joke about the cat who ate yarn when her babies were born they had sweaters on. I like stories of far off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. I love stories of queens and kings, of magic flutes that learn to sing. Welcome ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun! Hmm, now which one shall I read first? Putt-Putt, I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too, thanks. Now let me see if thou can guess this one. What cries when I cry, laughs when I laugh. But when I turn around, it neither laughs nor cries. Oh, King Chariot, we cannot get. It is a mirror. <laughs> I'm the happy bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. I can't do it, Pep. Sorry. Don't worry. I'll find something to get you down from there. I promise. <laughs> That's the stone bull Will gave to me.
Bet your sweet little hubcaps he likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. I need to feed that Triceratops some more hay so he'll get off my history report. Here you go, boy. Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. cutest little guy on four wheels. What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just checking out this balloon thingy. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, this must be your lucky day. We're giving those balloon makers away free. It's our anniversary. Makes as many balloons as your little heart desires. Gee, thanks. Well, would you look at that? Welcome to the Paint O Rama 3000, the automated painterizer. Initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy your new color. Electra, what kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. For golly sakes. Okay, Pot Pot, you can make me a battery with nine volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want, and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. Uh, 
I'll start with 5 volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 9. Four plus five equals nine volts. That's it! Nine volts of power. I'm all done, Miss Electra. Thanks, Pot Pot. Wow! This fun zone looks great! to the other side. All right.
Your food will be ready momentarily. Wow! Look at that! Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your food is in process. Oh boy! Yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I gave you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! I think I have something you're really going to like in my glove box. Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing. This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks. Great. I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back. Now all I have to do is get Pep, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Two crates. Welcome to the library. Excuse me. I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian 
the librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. Darian said that I can't get a book right now. Back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things. And Pep, too. Congratulations, Putt-Putt. I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Putt-Putt. But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. Now let me tell you what I learned.
Do you want to play again?